Luke 7, 13. When the Lord saw her, the woman who had just lost her son, he felt compassion for her and said to her, do not weep. I'm intrigued by this word compassion. It's used some 12 times in the Gospels to describe Jesus' feelings toward someone or toward a group of people. It's a graphic Greek word that literally means something like one's innards moving outward. It's much like our English figure of speech, his heart went out to him. And that's how it's translated in some of our versions. Sometimes it's also translated pity or having mercy or having a soft heart. The neat thing is that in every one of those dozen or so scenes where Jesus has compassion, that moment becomes a turning point in someone's life. A widow's son is raised from the dead. A demon-possessed boy is released from the devil's grip. A leper is cleansed. A couple of blind men receive their sight. Multitudes of people, hungry people, are miraculously fed. And in the parables, a prodigal son is received back home. A victim of a mugging is tended to by a Samaritan. And we find that we too can be the turning point in someone's life by showing that same kind of Christ-like compassion. If there is any encouragement in Christ, if there is any consolation of love, if there is any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and compassion, then make my joy complete by being of the same mind, and so forth. Have this attitude in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. In other words, if you want to be like Jesus, show compassion. Let your heart go out to others who need to see Jesus in you. So as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving each other, just as the Lord forgave you. You want to be a turning point in someone's life? You want to be used to heal our land? It begins with compassion.